Hello friends, how's everyone doing? This is Sherry. Welcome to my channel and welcome to hashtag flea market journal challenge. This is the open collab hosted by Maria from Maria's Miscellany, Susan from Susan Hiles Art, and myself. So uh, yeah, we decided to um, do this uh, collab for June and everyone's welcome to participate. We have the participants so far listed in our description box and if you'd like to join in it is not too late you can join in this week join in next week or both whatever you want but we've got two more Fridays to work on our flea market journals so the uh, the uh, object of this uh, journal challenge is to just create a journal made with only thrifted free or Dollar Tree items so um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory I just want to get started on this week's prompt which is create pages with pockets and tuck spots. So last week we created our cover and this was my cover from last week and I was so anxious to get started with the pages. I couldn't, I just could not wait <laughs> to, like I wanted to um, work on it during the week before today. So I went ahead and did my pages and I've got them sewn in. So I'm gonna do a little flip through and show you what I chose. Everything is uh, thrifted. The scrapbook paper I chose was thrifted. Um, I have um, some thrifted and I have some scrapbook paper that was given to me as gifts. So all that is legal because, you know, if it was a gift, it was free, right? So, and I've got music paper. So I'll go through and tell you what everything is. But um, <clears throat> I used to get, um, two. I used to get my composition books at thrift stores too. Whatever I saw when I would pick them up, I've got some composition book paper in here. But yeah, I just opened up with a pretty piece of scrapbook paper here. And um, I think all this, this scrapbook paper I use in here is double-sided. So I went ahead and added pockets as I was, you know, putting in papers and things. I added pockets and tuck spots. And so next week we're decorating or embellishing, adding ephemera. <clears throat> so um, I tried to stay away from that, although I added a couple of ruffles. And you'll see those as we go through. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, yeah, so scrapbook paper, and I've got some, this is avocado dyed, uh, I believe it's avocado dyed, and, oh, it's got some writ dye on it, too, some music paper, this is a ledger paper, I get all my ledger paper at thrift stores, I've never bought any at, at Walmart or any store, um, this is, like, stationary, you know, that computer stationary, this is what I was, um, actually, I mentioned it on another video that I was, uh, it's, you know, computer stationary, so it's decorative on one side and white on the other side. And so the, the computer stationary that I used in here, I coffee dyed on the back. So this is coffee dyed. And then I didn't want to uh, cut any, if I didn't have to, I was trying not to cut and make scraps and things like that. So I folded the end, the end and the bottom up and just glued it down. And then I've got a pretty ruffle here. I went ahead and put that on. And that is some of the fabrics that I showed you that I was using. This particular one I didn't use in this journal, but I wanted, you know, on the outside. But I wanted to use a piece in here anyway, because it went through, the colors went so well with the journal. So I went ahead and did did a little ruffle right there. I got a little ahead of myself with the decorating, but that's okay. Um, and then this, this is wrapping paper. Um, all my wrapping paper. I found a few wrapping paper books actually at thrift stores. Believe it or not. I couldn't believe it when I found them. This is William Morris right here. And really the colors just were so pretty. I had to use that also. And I, I backed it with some coffee dyed paper here. I glued it together and then sewed around it. So it makes a nice, uh, you know, sturdier piece of paper because some wrapping paper, wrapping paper can be kind of thin, right? So I just backed it with some coffee dyed paper. This is the um, computer paper with its track here. And I want to make sure I left the track, so I left that on there. And then I also used my scraps. If I did make scraps, I used them. I try to use them in here as pages. So here's a little short page from the music paper that I cut off. This is um, <clears throat> from the goodies that my uh, my kids gave me for Mother's Day. This is a deed of trust here, actual original deed of trust from the dates on the other side. But uh, I put that in here as a page. I thought that would be fun for a flea market journal to have something really cool like that old piece of ephemera type of thing. So just, um, this is avocado dyed paper here. This is a book page that I had sitting in my stash. 
I think there's a decoration on the other side. <clears throat> this is the composi composition book paper that I dyed with uh, blue food coloring. And this is a coffee dyed coloring book page. And that was double sided coloring book page. And then I did add a ruffle here. This is the paper that I, or the, this is the fabric that I used underneath here. You know, that blue. So I made a ruffle with some of that and put that there. <clears throat> And this is some more stationery, the computer stationery that I dyed, coffee dyed on the back. So that's that. And here's a little cutoff that I used as a page. This is another piece of pretty scrapbook paper here in the middle. It's um, I did a five pamphlet stitch on this one. A little page here, <clears throat> that computer stationery. So this is the back half, in the computer stationery that is uh, coffee dyed the uh, coloring book and here's another ruffle of some of the with some of the fabric that uh, I a little string I need to cut off here <laughs> let me go ahead and get that while I'm looking at it but um, yeah a little ruffle from some of that fabric there we go <laughs> um, but that's the one with the little kind of embroidery and it had the white polka dots or the Kind of lighter beige polka dots on it. See, did I use that anywhere? I didn't use that one on the cover either, but it was with those fabrics that I showed you. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think you kind of got the idea. Let me see if there's anything different. Here's that book page, and I had a de like uh, decoupaged a napkin on there, and I just had that sitting in with my papers and you know ready to do something with. So I went ahead and put it in here. You know, just a book page from a book from the thrift store. So here's a little tuck spot here, that wrapping paper. And another ruffle. The ledger and the music and the scrapbook paper. So I've got a pocket there too. So I've got a few pockets and tuck spots ready to go. And I can always add more if I want to, but we'll see what happens with that. But it looks, um, I wanted to go ahead and add the ruffles because I just thought it was... Uh, you know, I wanted to go ahead and do that so I'd have that done. I just was had some time, so I think it looks real pretty from the side now, and you know, it's coming together. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed. It's kind of a little shortcut instead of you watching me uh, get the pages and cut them, uh, they're already done. So I hope that will help. And um, if you haven't done your pages yet, that will give you some ideas on what to use. And uh, I hope you're you know, if you're not participating, you know, on YouTube or Instagram, that you're participating at home and, um, you know, having fun with this collab at home also. You know, why not craft along with us? So uh, that's it. A quick one today. And I'll be uh, working on this. I'm, you know, I've seen some people work in, working on it in between the Fridays. And that's awesome. And I may do that this week. We'll see. Uh, what I have time for but yeah I can't wait to get started on the next stage of whatever decorating I'm going to do so can't wait to do it and make some more um, you know made a couple of tags and those those will be put it in here and then some more little journaling cards and, and different uh, pieces of ephemera uh, all free from the flea market or the thrift store so these are going to be some fun uh, fun journals so I will see you in my next video be sure to check out all the participants and again, if you want to join in, um, you know, it's not too late. And be sure to check out Maria and Susan's channel because I'm sure they're going to be doing something awesome this week with their pages because everybody's doing something different with this, which is really cool to get some, um, you know, great ideas. So I can't wait to watch everyone's videos this week. I'll see you in my next video, everybody. Have a great day. Happy crafting.